Hi y'all, Lisa here with Mini Me in Tennessee. I am a gastric bypass weight loss surgery patient. I am 21 months post-op and today I am filming a what I eat in a day video. If this is something you think you would be interested in seeing, just keep watching. Yes, guys, I am 21 months post-op from gastric bypass weight loss surgery. I met my weight loss goal about a year post-op, and so for the last several months, I have been in the weight maintenance phase, meaning I'm no longer trying to lose weight, but to maintain my weight. And I've actually gotten out of maintenance, and for me, that means I've dropped a little bit more weight than I actually am comfortable with. And that was due to a recent tonsillectomy. I was having some appetite issues, well, still a little bit, having some appetite issues. And so I'm trying to regulate my weight once again and get back into my goal range, which is 124 to 130. I'm currently weighing in about 118, 119, depending on the day. We all know our weight can fluctuate day to day. That's why I don't weigh daily because that would drive me absolutely bonkers. So yes, our weight does fluctuate. It's not all about gaining weight because you ate something wrong. It's just a natural part of the way our bodies work. So I typically weigh about once a week to once every couple of weeks. And I would like to get myself back into maintenance. So I've decided to go ahead and record a what I eat in a day video so I can see where my macros are coming in at and see what I need to do to adjust those to get me back into maintenance. In the frame below, I will list for you what my nutritionist recommended for me as macros in order to maintain my weight. And this is based on my metabolic rate. They did measure my metabolic rate, and this is what they recommended for me. I'm not quite comfortable with the carbs, more or less. I think it's a little bit too high, but I've never gotten that high, so I'm not sure how that would work. I think I'm going to need to go stay a little bit lower than that, but I've not quite figured out exactly what that needs to be. And in order to do that, I need to be tracking on a more regular basis than what I'm doing. So as of today, I'm kicking off the tracking on a normal, consistent basis so I can get to the macros that I need to be at. And yeah, so today my goal is going to be 1200 calories, 100 carbs. I have not meal planned. I'm just gonna wing it and see where I land at the end of the day. And that will give me a base to start with. And then I will know for tomorrow where I need to make some adjustments. Make sense? All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you guys throughout the day what I'm eating. And then we'll come back probably tomorrow morning after I have completed my day and know that I'm no longer going to be eating or drinking anything that might have calories in it. And we'll see where I land. All right, guys, stay tuned. Okay, guys, this is the first thing I typically have in the morning. I'm not a big breakfast person, so I typically do start my day out with a Premier Protein Shake. I prefer the chocolate, so I just pour it over a cup of ice in a large tumbler, and then I will add about four ounces of cold brew coffee. This gets my day started and gets some vitamins and some protein into my system. I will be putting all of the macros in grams in each frame for you for each meal or snack that I'm having throughout the day. Generally, after I have my protein shake, I will have some water and then I'll have a coffee or what I'm calling my DIY lattes. I make these at home. It saves me a lot of money. As you can see in the background, I have some Tarani sugar-free syrups. I use that to flavor my coffees with. I actually have a DIY recipe up on my other channel where I'm showing some different coffee recipes and I'll try to link that for you up in the top right corner. But just to guide you along here, I'm having four ounces of this Fairlife milk. This is the 2%. I like this particular milk because it's lower in sugar, lower in carbs, of course, and it's higher in protein than a regular milk. I do not like nut milks or soy milk, so I do use this. 
And I'm also going to be adding, of course, some of the sugar-free caramel here. And I'm also going to be adding a little bit of some Ready Whip and also some sugar-free caramel sauce and you should be seeing the calories carbs and the macros in the frame below All right, guys, I've decided to go ahead and have a snack. I'm about halfway between what would have been breakfast had I had breakfast and lunch. And this is a typical snack for me. And since I'm in maintenance or trying to get into maintenance again, I do have some of the higher carb fruits sometimes. So here I'm having a half a pear, a Colby Jack cheese bar, and this Propel zero calorie flavored water. I am now going to have some more fluids and I'm trying this Long Island diet tea that I purchased at the grocery store. This is a zero calorie drink, but it does have a couple of carbs in it. But I have to say guys, I really enjoyed it. It was pretty good. All right, guys, it's time for lunch. I'm having this 32 ounce tumbler with some flavored water. I'm having about five ounces of tuna salad. It's just tuna, mayo, pickles, and I'm having a half serving or about an ounce of these low carb pita crackers. As you can see, I wasn't able to eat it all. I have about two ounces of tuna left over and a couple of crackers. So I have adjusted the macros accordingly and that's what you saw in the previous clip. All right guys, it's a few hours since lunch and I took a look at my calories and my carbs and I'm pretty low. And one of the things my dietitian suggested that I have to help raise my carbs and calories is nuts, trail mixes, and dried fruit. So I've decided to grab this package of trail mix. It has peanuts, sunflower seeds, raisins, and then these little chocolate candies in it. So it's going to help my sweet tooth just a bit too. And I'm also still sipping on some flavored water. For dinner on this night, I made some teriyaki chicken wings and it was in a sugar-free teriyaki sauce. And I also made these zucchini parmesan chips. It's basically just zucchini with parmesan melted on top in the oven. And it turned out pretty good. Let's see how I do on my restriction, shall we? All right, guys, I started out with about six ounces of food, and that was three wings and about six of the Parmesan zucchini chips. And as you can see, I did eat all of the chicken, but I only ate about half of the zucchini. Yep, restriction is still there, guys. Restriction is still there. All right, guys, it is the next day. If you remember from the beginning of the video, my goal for the day was 1200 calories and 100 carbs. And I didn't make it. My calories were 1043. My total carbs were 72. My fat was 62 and my protein was 79. And another thing I will point out is at 79 grams of protein for the day, you can see that I still truly need a protein shake in order to help me meet my protein goals. I was actually a little under. My nutritionist recommends 83 for me, and I came in at 79. And if you're familiar with Premier Protein, you know that it has 30 grams of protein. So take that away, 
and I would have only have had 49 grams of protein for the day. So I definitely still need that protein shake. My restriction is still really super tight. Um, only eating six ounces or less per meal. My nutritionist recommends three meals per day. Of course, I'm not getting breakfast because I'm just not a breakfast person. Sometimes I do, most of the time I don't. So I'm really only getting technically two meals a day plus a protein shake plus two snacks. And sometimes I have three snacks. Lately, it's only been two because as I mentioned, my appetite still is not back to normal from my tonsillectomy. And another thing I'd like to point out is I do not do net carbs. I do total carbs. So if my total carbs are 72, net carbs might be, I don't know, I don't, I don't even know how you guys figure that. I think it's fiber and uh, sugar alcohols, but it might only be 52. I don't know, I didn't figure it out, but that is something that my nutritionist recommended for me because they say to me that doing net carbs can be a slippery slope and i know for me being a carb addict that's probably very true and i at one time did think about doing the net carbs and then i felt like for me it was going to be almost a way to cheat I'm not saying that people do net carbs to cheat. I'm just saying for me, I think that's how I might look at it. So to look at the big picture of the total carbs is a lot more intense for me than to look at it in net carbs because if I only looked at net carbs, I think I would want, I think I would give myself a little bit more freedom with carbs. Does that make sense? Yeah only because I'm a carb addict. I'm not saying if you do net carbs that that's wrong. I'm just saying for me personally, it would be a slippery slope. So I just look at total carbs. It's a, it's a little bit scarier of a number for me to do it that way. So it helps kind of keep me on track with my carbs a little bit better. And another thing I'll point out, if, if I would have been able to eat my full lunch, the full six ounces that I have put on my plate, Instead of, what did I end up eating, like, was it four ounces, somewhere around in there? If I had been able to eat the entire lunch, I would have gotten a lot closer to my goal for the day. But that's just how my restriction is right now. And I don't want to get into the habit of forcing myself to eat when I'm full. And I don't want to get into the habit of forcing myself to eat when I'm not hungry. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any comments or suggestions or advice for me of course just drop them in the comments below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please make sure you do so before you exit out and i will see you guys in the next video bye